Hey friends, welcome to Power Code Music. In this presentation, we are going to do a detailed analysis of the Tascam Sonic View 16XP and the Yamaha DM3D digital mixers. Then we're going to take that information and we are going to compare the two units to see what makes them different. We know that Tascam and Yamaha brand sell competing digital mixers. Both have released a new and more economical, that is depending upon your perspective, competing product lines that have become very popular quickly. However, there are significant differences between the Tascam Sonic View 16XP and the Yamaha DM3D that people interested in purchasing these types of units should be aware of. Now with this, I decided to take a closer look at exactly what those differences are. Now, I strongly recommend that you know your requirements. This will significantly help you learn which gear might be best for your specific needs. Otherwise, you could easily waste time and money buying a unit that you want and think is great, as opposed to buying the unit that you actually need. In this presentation, we are going to first check out the features of both the Tascam Sonic View 16 XP and the Yamaha DM3D. And then again, we're going to analyze and compare the units to see what makes them different. Now, before we look at the features of both units, you may want to ask yourself the following questions first. Number one, do I need a digital mixer with full multi-track functionality built in? or is two-track recording functionality okay? Number two, will I be taking my unit with me a lot to record gigs and practices? Number three, are 16 inputs and eight outputs enough for my projects or do I need more? Number four, will I be working primarily with a doll or will I need to use an external hardware multi-track recorder. If you're shopping for a new digital mixer recorder or looking to make some changes, the answers to these questions will help you determine which unit may work best for you. Now I chose the Tascam Sonic View 16 XP and the Yamaha DM3D because they are very popular competing products. The Tascam Sonic View XP retails for $6,000 new. Ugh. The Yamaha DM3D retails for $2,000 new. Now with this significant difference in price, it really does come down to what you need. Now here's a point of note. Both units have features that enable control of digital audio workstation software on a PC via a USB high-speed cable. Users can operate DAW transports, including play, record, and stop keys as well as physically control on-screen faders. Let's start with the Tascam Sonic View 16 XP's features, and there are a lot of them. To start, the unit has two 7-inch display touch panels, and there are 44 input channels and four effects returns. The unit has 22 flexible output buses, a main left-right bus, and a 31-band graphic EQ. It also has 96K HC and a 54-bit float point mixing engine. This is going to sound good. It also has 32-bit 96K HC analog to digital and digital to analog conversion. It includes Tascam's Class 1 HDIA microphone preamps, some really good preamps, and it has 32 in, 32 out, 32-bit 96K HC USB audio interface. So you have the choice of working with a digital audio workstation software package, but there's also a built-in 32 track SDXC digital recorder, so you can record standalone also if you choose to. The unit has 64 in, 64 out built-in Dante interface, and Dante over IP networks, if you're not familiar, what this does is integrate thousands of concert touring systems as well as installed systems in recording studios worldwide, radio stations, and more. Moving on, there are 16 mic line inputs um, and 16 XLR line inputs. 
the unit has four onboard multi effects processors. There is Tascam Sonic View control software for every OS um, out there so that you can remote control the unit and you can also use it for offline editing. There are two Tascam expansion slots on the back of the unit. The first is an SDXC multi track recording card. Uh, that comes installed with the unit so you don't have to buy it and with the other slot the slot 2 there are optional other cards that you can buy um, that are available so moving on the library on the unit includes snapshot effect module parametric eq graphic eq gate and compressor there are 18 assignable user keys seven custom fader layers and eight dca groups the unit also has a 16 by one 100 millimeter motorized faders. They're going to be really nice and nice long glide for you. Those are quality faders. There are also 16 LEDs with color LED display channel name, input level, and gain reduction meter. The unit has two channel internal recording playback with SD card or USB flash drive. There are quarter inch and eighth inch headphone outputs. The unit also has a gigabit ethernet port, a TRS foot switch jack is also included, and the unit's rack mountable with the optional rack mount kit. Let's check out some of the Yamaha DM3D digital mixers features. This is Yamaha's most compact Dante compatible mixer yet. DM3 produces high quality 96 kHz sound using 16 analog inputs and 8 outputs with low latency. The M3 series comes equipped with two high quality multi effects processors featuring 18 types of effects including Rev HD and Rev R3. Scene presets are also available for a variety of applications that use the DM3 series for mixing making setup quick and easy. The DM3 series condenses features needed for streaming inside a compact housing. This, this unit basically are, is equipped with analog I.O. and USB terminals, and that makes it possible to input audio to the DM3 series and transmit the mixed audio directly to a computer using streaming software. The Dante equipped DM3 is ideal for standalone operation as well as for use as part of a larger streaming system featuring mixing consoles. Now, for example, using two DM3 units allows the engineer to input the audio transmitted by Dante for on-site and streaming. Or you can use two different mixing consoles for the project. Remote control functionality is also a key cornerstone feature of the unit. The DM3 editor software allows users to control and save menu settings. DM3 stage mix can control the DM3 series from on stage and the monitor mix software uh, allows each performer to adjust their own monitor. It's pretty cool. DM3 consoles also team well with digital audio workstations, better known as DAWs. Now, DAW operations such as volume adjustment, play, and stop can be executed using the console's faders and buttons as physical controllers for smooth operation while arranging. Both DM3 models, the DMS, support multi track recording via USB to host. Two track recording is also possible using a USB memory stick and the USB connector on the front of both consoles. DM3 series are bundled with downloadable Cubase AI software from Steinberg. DM3 series are also bundled with downloadable VST rack elements. A plug-in uh, hosting software package is also available from Yamaha. Finally, this is what you've all been waiting for. Let's analyze some of the major differences between the Tascam Sonic View 16 XP and the Yamaha DM3D. On your screen now, you will see a chart with three columns. The first column is the specifications column. The second column is the Tascam product information column. And the third is the Yamaha product information column.
Now what we're going to do is we are going to go down this chart row by row and we're going to analyze the differences between the two units. Starting with the specifications column on the first row, which is price. The Tascam is $6,000 and the Yamaha is $2,000. Now, of course, this is a significant difference in price. So let's keep going row by row to look at why that is. The second row is the type. The Tascam is designed as a digital mixer with recorder, while the Yamaha is designed primarily as a digital mixer. The next row are channels. Tascam has 40 mono channels and two stereo channels. Yamaha has 16 mono and one stereo and two effects return channels. The next row is recording capability. Now this is where the Tascam starts to take off uh, quite a bit from the Yamaha. The Tascam is a 32 by 16 track recorder player with an SDXC recorder, or should I say being an SDXC recorder. The Yamaha has a built-in two track recorder and has two track playback. Now, if you connect it via USB host, the recording then goes up to 18 tracks and 18 playback tracks. So people may not know this, but you can also multi-track with a DM3 if you connect it via USB host. Otherwise, it just has a built-in two-track recorder and player. So that's good to know. The next row are sampling rates. Both units have the same sampling rates. Moving down to the next row, the inputs and mic preamps. The uh, Tascam has 16 XLR, while the Yamaha has 12 XLR and 4 XLR combo jacks. Moving to the next row, both units have 16 channels of phantom power. Moving down to the next row, inputs and line. The Tascam has 8 quarter inch TRS and 2 dual RCA stereo inputs. And the Yamaha has 16 mic line inputs. You can see additional information after that, more details. The next row, uh, inputs other, the Tascam has one quarter inch foot switch input and the Yamaha does not. Outputs main is the next row and the uh, Tascam has 16 XLR main and two XLR monitors while the Yamaha has eight XLRs for output main. The next row are inserts. The Tascam has inserts on channel seven and eight the Yamaha does not have channel inserts. The next row is the processor. The Tascam has a killer 96, 96KHZ 54-bit, uh, I should say, floating point uh, processor. And I could not find any information on the Yamaha DM3 processor. So if you have any information on that, please list it in the comments if Yamaha shared it because I could not find it. Moving down to the next row, we have TalkBack. The Tascam has one XLR for TalkBack. The Yamaha has none. The next row is data in and out. The Tascam has two EtherCon Dante and one Ethernet control and one DB25 GPIO, uh, or should I say ports? And the Yamaha has two locking Ethernet uh, Dante ports and one RJ45 uh, put, port. The next row is headphones. The Tascam has one quarter inch and one eighth inch uh, input for headphones and the Yamaha has, has one quarter inch. The next row is USB. Tascam has, a, has one type B USB port and the Yamaha has a type A USB port and a type B USB port. Moving on, for computer connectivity, the Tascam, you can connect uh, via USB uh, and by Ethernet. USB is 32 by 32. With the Yamaha, USB is 18 by 18 and also Ethernet connection. Uh, in and out expansion slots. This is again where the Tascam takes off. The Tascam has two card slots for external expansion cards that you can plug in and out of the unit. One of the expansion cards is the recording, multi-track hardware recording expansion card. So you can swap these cards out, which makes this unit uh, expandable and very flexible. You cannot do this with the Yamaha. So this is a big deal. 
Moving down to the next row, we have a world clock. The Tascam has an in, out, and through. The Yamaha does not, does not have that functionality. The next row are faders. Both units have motorized faders, and you can see there's a difference in size between the Tascam and the Yamaha. Tascam has bigger faders. The next row is analog to digital resolution. The uh, Tascam it has 32-bit, 96 kHz. The Yamaha has up to 96 kHz. The next row is EQ bands. Tascam has 31 band uh, EQ on the main mix bus and the Yamaha has a four band parametric EQ and there's some details after that information. The next row are the effects. The Tascam has four internal effects, four effects in buses and four stereo effects return channels. The Yamaha has two onboard multi-effects processors with 18 types of effects. Moving on to the next row, we have signal processing. The Tascam has a parametric EQ, a graphic EQ, gate and compressor, while the Yamaha has parametric EQ, gate and compressor. The next row, we talk about screens. Here is a big difference again. The Tascam has two seven inch touchscreens. The Yamaha has one nine inch touchscreen. The next row is storage. Tascam uses an SD card slot for storage while the Yamaha uses an USB slot. The next row is software. Tascam uses the exclusive uh, SonicView control software to remotely control the units in the product line. The Yamaha uses, or should I say you can use with the Yamaha three different software applications. One is the DM3 editor, the second is the DM3 stage mix, and the third is the monitor mix. The next row is rack mountable capability. Both units uh, can be rack mounted and the additional components are sold separately. The next row is the power source. The Tascam has a standard IEC AC cable, while the Yamaha is a 24 volt DC 2.5A power supply. And what follows is the height, depth, width, and weight of both units. As you can see, the Tascam is significantly bigger and significantly heavier than the Yamaha. In summary, both are quality professional devices that can produce superior audio. Again, it's important that you know your requirements first before you make a purchase or upgrade. Just because something may appear to be more advanced doesn't mean it's the right fit for the way you need to record to be the most productive. The bottom line here is that what works for one person in this regard may not serve well for another. Well friends, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every 7 to 14 days, and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what you think about this content. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and TikTok. Also, while you're here, check out some of the music, other videos, and playlists because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.